Well, a big win for emergency rooms here in Arizona. A new anti-venom to help scorpion bites has been approved this week. And here to talk about that, Dr. Howard uh, Podolsky with Next Care. Uh, why is this so important? There was basically nothing out there on the market before this? That's absolutely correct. We didn't have available an antivenom for scorpion bites here in Arizona or throughout the United States. And although the prevalence of bites is not dramatic, 17,000 per year, most of them are that here. It sounds like a lot, 17,000. It is, and most of them are here in Arizona, 11,000 of which about 65% of those bites take place here in Arizona. But, you know, the vast majority of those bites are benign. And really, this is for young children under the ages of four or the elderly who are more debilitated and an opportunity for them to avoid potentially some very significant illness uh, associated with the bite. Yeah, how serious can a, a scorpion bite be? I mean, I remember when I was a kid, my, my mother got bit. I'm, of course, you living in Arizona, it's bound to happen to somebody, you know? Absolutely. And my mom was bit when she was out in the backyard with us and then had to spend a couple of days in the mm -hmm. hospital. It yeah. wasn't like, it wasn't just a quick turnaround. No. Now, you know, throw a Band-Aid on it and call it a day. Really, for the vast majority of the individuals, for adults and children over the age of four or five years of age, it's going to hurt, it's going to swell up a little bit, and we put some ice on it, we clean the wound, we give them some pain medicine or even some Advil or ibuprofen, and in a day or two, they're fine. But for young children under the ages of four or for the elderly, it can be life-threatening. I mean, yeah. there are a 1,000 deaths a year in Mexico where the vaccination was initially developed, and uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, it was so important for the Mexican government to help with the development of this vaccine. So what should somebody do if they're out jogging or camping and they get bit or if they're in a cabin and they get bit? Do they need to grab the scorpion and bring it with you? You always hear those rumors of you need to know if it's a baby scorpion or if it's a big scorpion. Or, what do you need to do? Uh, the most important thing is to attend to the wound itself to begin with. It, you know, it's helpful to know the scorpion. The most common scorpion bite in Arizona is the bark scorpion, and that's what the antivenom is designed for. But most importantly, the, the approach to take is to clean the wound, uh, get some ice on there, elevate the wound, make sure you get some analgesics to the patient. So something as basic in your emergency kit as Tylenol or ibuprofen is perfect. Keep it elevated for at least a few hours and keep some ice on it. Uh, if, uh, if the individual is beginning to suffer um, some fatigue, muscle twitching, blurry vision, difficulty swallowing their secretions, then it's time to seek medical attention. So you right don't away. need to go right away? No. But give it a little bit of time, unless they're young or... Right, unless they're under four, then they go to the emergency room, or they're elderly or debilitated or have significant secondary diseases, uh, such as congestive heart failure, diabetes, and so on. And in, and in your line of work, have you seen some serious cases where this has come across? And in those cases, d does it matter on the... I mean, you just hear that urban legend. Oh, if it's a baby scorpion, they're the deadliest. If it's an older scorpion, they're the... De you know, you know the, amount of, the amount of venom in any given scorpion varies, and clearly it's, it's, it's a nice rule of thumb, but it's not... It's not particularly scientific. So really the most important thing is the age of the individual. So again, children under the age of four, those that have uh, potential for significant illness from the bite, we get them to uh, emergency departments right away. And then just real quickly, it's also uh, National Immunization Awareness Month. We yes. have a lot of kids going back to school. Mm -hmm. Explain why it's still so important to get those shots and get that done. Absolutely. I mean, first of all, it prevents children from getting debilitating illnesses that can uh, prevent their growth and development, and it stops the spread of disease throughout the community and that's here, what we're here for to have healthy children have great years in school all right dr howard podolsky uh with thanks. next care i appreciate you coming and thanks so much my pleasure